Welcome to L&M Farms. I'm Marilyn Blake. I grow vegetables, fruits, fresh and dried herbs, culinary um, tea herbs and medicinals. We also sell brown eggs. And let's see, the very first herb, uh, tea herb that you'll see here is these roses that we grow for the rose hips, although I don't see any rose hips right off the bat. There's some behind the sign. This is my lemon balm patch. We, we only have two acres here, and so we try to make use of every inch that we can. I also have a patch of rhubarb growing in here. Lemon balm's used in a lot of my teas. This is rhubarb. It's harvested for the stems. The leaves are actually toxic because they contain oxalic acid. They're great for fertilizing the blueberries and raspberries, though. And this is lemon balm, which has recently flowered and is uh, going to spread seeds for next year. And this is actually, I have a few feverview plants. They get little white flowers called bachelor's buttons, and it's called the headache plant. And you can make teas with that, although I don't. These are common orange daylilies. There are some irises down below also, but um, people don't realize it, but they're edible, so they're here for if I ever need them. You can eat the roots and shoots in the spring, and the flowers are delicious fried like squash blossoms. And the leaves are actually edible all the time. They just, like many vegetables, don't taste too good after they get old and tough. And this is our echinacea. I use that in some teas and in some other herbal things that I make. And this too, this started as a small patch right here and it has spread out in both directions. We harvest the flowers, the stems, the leaves, and the roots. We won't harvest the roots till a month with, with uh, R in it. This, this is how I got started on my herbal journey. Um, I grew like oregano and basil at my previous house. And when we moved here, this was just a mess and, and it was full of brush and we cleaned it all out. And um, um, I made a rock garden. One day I was standing on the porch with my morning coffee and I looked out at the rock garden and I went, oh my word, my grandfather's rock garden. He had a very steep hill behind his house and he had all kinds of herbs, and when I st thought about it, I could see what all the herbs that were growing in different locations. It's hereditary or genetic, I'm not sure which. This is um, St. John's wort. This is actually a spreader, but I don't want to um, destroy any of it. It's really valuable. There's more over there. This is uh, jewel weed, and this is jewel weed. Wherever it plants itself, I let it go. I use it in my poison ivy spray. It's an antidote for poison ivy. This is mullen. Mullen's wonderful. This is a first year mullen plant. It grows in a little rosette, and the leaves are soft and velvety, very similar to the lamb's ear. And the first year, you can harvest the leaves, and um, they, they're good for respiratory ailments. You can actually lay, boil the leaves and cool them and lay them on your chest, you, and you can put them in teas as well. This is my chamomile coming back. This will be next year's crop. All those dead stems were this year's chamomile. I never harvested so much chamomile in my life. Also want to show you this red clover. We just weed eated that two days ago, but I use a lot of red clover in my teas. It's very high in vitamin C and has antioxidant properties. First, we blend all our ingredients together in a bowl. This is just a partial sample so we can show you. Then we fill tea bags with one teaspoon of tea. We try really uh, diligently to make sure all the bags are filled to, uh, equally, which is about half full when they got a teaspoon in them. If some of the herbs fall out, we can check them and make sure that they're e filled equally. Okay. And then we lay it down on our uh, 
a food saver. This is an awesome device because the tea bags tell you to iron them shut. And I've burned myself so many times, this works even better. Push it down, wait till the green light goes off, and voila, you have tea bags. We put 10 of those in one of these plastic bags and then we put little handmade labels inside them. This is how my uh, herbal teas go to market. Right now we make 31 different teas. They're coded. I keep them in alphabetical order because I'm a school teacher. People would get halfway through the list and, and they would just get overwhelmed and they would pick something because 30 is too many. But I always give new customers a handout of the kinds of teas that I make and their uh, health benefits. And I keep my stevia with it. And I sell tea bag squeezers. This is women's blend, but this is my best. This is Vitality. And it's got eight different ingredients that are all proven cancer fighters. I also sell loose tea for the connoisseur. I'm glad you guys came today. I made some cheer tea. About half of my teas are good iced and about, and the other half are only good hot. And you still get the health benefits from both of them. West Virginia glass pitcher. Here you go, enjoy.